Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a full face of makeup using products entirely from the Dollar Tree. Now a disclaimer before we begin, I am not a makeup person, okay? Um, my setup here, I don't have anything fancy. I have this cheap Target mirror and it's set up in a box of my planner stickers. So I have like no fancy setup. Um, and also this is for the purpose of a demo, like I just wanna try this out. This is not a tutorial. There are other people who can really teach you better tips and tricks and techniques on how to do your makeup. But I just wanted to try to see if I could do a full face of makeup from the Dollar Tree. Um, in day-to-day -day life, this is what I look like in public I go out with pretty much no makeup on almost always. Uh, it's very hot where I live and I just don't like to wear makeup. I feel like it's like I'm constantly sweating. Um, so uh, in real life, I don't really wear makeup at all. Then um, on the other end of the spectrum, I taught high school and I directed the musical and I performed in dinner theaters and community theaters. And so I know a lot about stage makeup. So they're drastically different, like stage makeup, no makeup. Uh, so today I'm gonna try to find a middle ground. I don't usually do great with a middle ground. I think it'll be a little bit heavier because I got a lot of products from the Dollar Tree that I wanna try. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, wish me luck, here we go. Before I begin, I wanna do a really quick one minute recap of some of the items that I got during my uh, beauty and wellness trip a few weeks ago. I got a couple items, so very quick, don't buy this. This thing is so bristly and like painful. I like touched it to my face and I'm like, we are not gonna use this to clean my face. I am gonna keep it to clean the grout in my shower, but like not for my face. I did get some of those little silicone scrubbers that are really nice on my face, but I don't recommend the brush. Next thing is you know that I love this. This is my um, makeup blender. I'm gonna use this today. One dollar at the Dollar Tree, never going back. Favorite item there. Actually, my other, my second favorite item is uh, the hair ties they sell. They're just like really nice and fabric-y and I'm a huge fan. Um, I also bought this recently, a pack of 12 shower curtain rings. And I bought them because my laundry area had like a bunch of hangers everywhere and it looked really cluttered. So I bought them to hang up masks, undergarments, bathing suits, all of that. And it looked so much nicer. I just have some masks hanging in there now, but I'm really happy with that. And now um, I have the, my, um, I've got my hair ties on there. So I'm really happy that I have these and I have a bunch of extras. And the last item that I was really happy I got, I'm still using, is this little organizer. And it's just nice, it sits in the corner um, in my bathroom and I have um, you know, some beauty products there. And I also put my earrings in there. So if I'm feeling lazy and don't wanna put them in my jewelry box at the end of the night, I know they won't fall down the drain. So I really like this too. So I'm gonna begin with some foundation and some BB cream. We've got the um, Sassy and Chic brand. Um, I'm gonna blend the two of them together and that's not something abnormal. I usually use a little bit of IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I really like this. It's got SPF, it smells good, and it's got a nice glowy, dewy effect. And then I use the Maybelline 24 hour, what is this, Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation and I put them together. This has a little bit more of a matte effect, so I like to do that. Um, so me blending two things together is something that I normally do. I will say that at a lot of different Dollar Trees, they have different options and beauty sections. My Dollar Tree in particular has a lot of options, except they hardly had anything available for, for foundation and, and BB cream. So um, they definitely need to work on that and have some more options. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of this onto my hand and squeeze a little bit of that onto my hand mix it up. Now, as you know, I love this. So I dip it in my little glass of water here, get it a little bit wet, and then I take a paper towel and I just kind of like squeeze off the excess. Now I also got this a little silicone blender and I haven't tried this. So I can get it out of the packaging here. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so is this in plastic? Oh, weird. Okay. It's like, looks like there's a wrapper on it, but I don't think there is. I think that's just the way it is. All right, I'm not gonna rip this apart. So I'm gonna try this too. Um, I'm gonna try half of my face with the sponge and half of my face with this to see which I like better. I have heard some people like these because they don't absorb your foundation, so you use a little less product. So we're gonna see how they both go. This stuff is thick like paint. <laughs> All right, oh goodness gracious. I'm gonna have to do some serious blending with this. First impression though, thank goodness, it doesn't smell bad, which is good because I hate when you try makeup and it smells weird. Like makes you sick almost sometimes. All right, let's try this. We're gonna try this half with the sponge. 
it's not as thick as I would have thought, which is really nice. It's actually pretty minimal coverage, I'd say. Yeah, it's really light. Actually, that surprised me. I thought I was gonna hate this and just have to like stomach the weird smell for the entire video, but I'm pleasantly surprised. This is a really good look. All right, now I'm gonna try this thing, so we'll see how it goes. It's, it's something. Hmm. No, I don't like this. No. Nope. Gotta put on a little bit more. So we'll use this as the spreader. This is a good spreader, not a good blender. I know, some of you makeup people are probably like, oh my gosh, poor Rebecca. We're gonna be talking about her for weeks. That's okay. It's okay. All right, so I'm gonna blend a little more. I need to do a little more blending around maybe my jawline and my forehead, but um, we're gonna throw this piece of junk in the trash. If you have a silicone blender that you're like, no, Rebecca, give this one a try. You just hate this because it's a piece of junk from the Dollar Tree. Let me know, but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. All right, it's pretty good. Next up, I'm gonna put some powder on my face. Now, it's a pressed powder, and normally I use a loose powder, but if you, you know, zhuzh it around, I'm sure that anything can really become loose powder. Now, I thought that I was gonna put my powder on with this junky piece of, you know, whatever this, this thing is here, but I found this big brush that, I don't know if it's supposed to be used for powder, but that's what I'm gonna use it for, so let's go ahead and try it. This also feels junky. Um, it's like really like, it's not soft at the end. We're gonna use it, but so far, hopefully it'll work. Okay, so I just went like this. Look at it. <laughs> this is definitely a it's loose powder now. All right, let's see. I have to tap it on because it's so like, I don't wanna say painful, but it was not good quality. I mean, it's a dollar, what did I expect? But the thing is, they do sell some e.l.f. brushes, which are good quality. So if you have anything e.l.f. versus the random Dollar Tree brand, definitely get e.l.f. All right. It, it's doing the job though. It's doing the job. You know what? Let's just try this. Let's just try and see how this goes. These little mini brushes. This one's a little softer. I guess we could try that. I know a lot of people who are really good at makeup, like it's their thing and they just do, it's like art, they do the most gorgeous, incredible job. And one gal that I know once told me, she thinks that if you use minimal foundation, you can use a lot of powder and get like a really nice look. And so I was like, huh, maybe I'll try that. So definitely using a lot more powder than I would normally, but you know, it's always worth trying, you know, mixing and matching different products and how much you use of each. All right, I think we're almost done here. Okay. All right, next up we're gonna try some blush. Blush, not many options on this. We had um, sun kissed tan and then another color called something different that looked exactly like this. So I went for this. Um, this blush is also the Color Mates brand and it is uh, Natural Look Long Wearing Blends Easy. We'll see about that, huh? All right, let's open this. So this comes with its own mini blush brush. Now, let me say something. How you're supposed to use this, okay, to put blush on is beyond me. I guess you could do it if you had to. But I bought this Wet n Wild contour brush, which we're gonna use as a blush brush. And let me just tell you, okay, this quality, but this and this, these two are like night and day. On a scale of one to 10, I would rate this a one and this would be like an eight or a nine. So much better. So if you have a name brand like e.l.f. or This Is Wet n Wild and those are your options, definitely get one of those because 10 out of 10 recommend that if those are your options at the Dollar Tree. All right. This doesn't look super pigmented, so let's try this out. I'm done. All right. Hmm. All right, not terrible. Got a lot. Does somebody know how to put blush on? Can someone tell me how to do this? This is how I've always put blush on. I know you can like do little circles. Is there another way to do this? All right, now see, I took it too far. Now we gotta go back to the powder. 
When people introduced me to like highlighter and contour, I was like, no, we are not at a level for that. All right, we're just gonna let this be. Okay, that's fine. Let's do lips next. Now, when you shop at the Dollar Tree, you need to check your packages, because I got home and guess what? I bought this lip liner to try and it was empty. Yeah, so we're not gonna use that because it doesn't exist. But I do have this, it's called a makeup stick, a three-in-one that can be a lipstick, a blush, or an eyeshadow. How that's possible, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure somebody who's much more talented and this is their, their niche area could explain that. Um, so I got this. I got this Wet n Wild in Dark Wine lipsticks. So we have a crayon, we have a lipstick, we have another lipstick in Flush that has a duo. It comes with a gloss. And then I got this gloss. Now, again, this is not abnormal. It's not abnormal for me to blend maybe five items together for my lips. Usually I use, and again, this is if I'm doing like something specific, I'll use like two different liners, two different lipsticks and some gloss over top to get the color that I want. So um, yeah, let's try this. We're gonna start with the crayon. Just to give ourselves a, a nice base, but you know what? Nothing's happening. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just gonna keep on going. It's almost like metallic pink. All right, not great, not great. That's okay though. Since we don't have a lip liner, I'm just gonna start putting on some lipsticks. Now, I'm gonna blend with this little thing. I think this is supposed to be like an eyeshadow or an eyeliner brush, but this is all we have because it's all they had available at the Dollar Tree. So we're just gonna go for it. All right, I am gonna do a little bit of this. Oh. That is very pigmented. Okay. That's dark. Mm. All right. I'm gonna try the LA Colors in Flush. This is the one that has the lip gloss duo. All right, let's see what we got going on here. All right, this is also really red, so we'll see if it's pigmented. Hmm, it is. Little tip, you do a, get the, uh, the stuff off the inside so that you don't get lipstick on your teeth. And now we're gonna try a little bit more of the crayon. Now I hear a color of what? Sometimes it helps blend a little bit. Okay. Then, here we go. Finish it off with just a little bit of gloss. All right, now this is not the lipstick color that I probably would have chosen, but I don't hate it. Um, I don't hate it. The, that gloss was a little sticky, so I'm gonna try this one. The Sassy and Chic brand at it again. Um, let's try a little bit of this. All right, this one's definitely thicker. Lips are done. Okay, moving on to eyebrows. Sometimes after I put makeup on, I just kind of do this gently to get any like extra makeup in there out. I don't know if the professionals do that, but that's what I do. Um, and I got this. Brow and Eyeliner Pencil Set um, in black brown. So I'm gonna try, I guess, one for the eyeliner, one for the, the brow. And I don't know if it matters which you use, if it says that on there. Eyeliner, eyeliner. Nope, it doesn't matter. There's two of them, they can be used for either. All right, so we're gonna do the brow. Just gonna, you know. Just fill in real gently. And you know what I just realized is I don't have one of those little brow combs. So I guess that means that I'm just gonna, oh wow, that's a lot, okay. But I'm just gonna use, a little goes a long way with this. I'm just gonna use this little thing that luckily I didn't have to use for the lip gloss. Uh, I'm just gonna use that to like blend that in. Some people really are artists when it comes to their eyebrows. Like, it's incredible. Um, for me, I try, you know. To make them like, 
like fly under the radar almost. Like I don't want people to like really notice my eyebrows. I don't know if that's, if I accomplished that, but just like, you know, just something like a little subtle, like they're filled in a little bit, but nothing crazy. All right. All right, so this eyebrow's done, this one isn't. Um, I've always heard that they should be sisters, not twins, you know? That's what they say about brows and eyeliner, I think. Um, just a little subtle, do the other one. I guess they're okay. I usually use like a little like, um, it's in like an e.l.f. compact where it's got the brow with like a little um, brush on one side and then the powder that goes over on the other. But you know what, for all intents and purposes, this worked. All right, last thing we're gonna do is eyeshadow. And I'm gonna put on some fake lashes for you. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I, um, fake lashes, somebody like tried to teach me probably like seven, eight years ago at this point and some, I don't know, maybe somebody has a magical technique. Sometimes they go on well and sometimes I'm like, that looks like it's closer to my eyebrow than my lash line, but we're gonna give it a go. Now, the one thing I will say is that in some regards, they don't have a ton of offerings at um, Dollar Tree for different colors, but in the eyeshadow department, there were like a million options. But I just went with this one. This is just four different colors, different shades of like creams and browns, sort of more of like a natural and neutral look. Um, so we're gonna go ahead with that. Then we're gonna try a little bit of liquid eyeliner, pencil for the bottom, and then we're gonna try the eyelashes. So wish me luck. I'm just like swimming in trash. <laughs> okay, now this was from my blush, but we're gonna use it. You know what? It's not perfect, but I'm doing the best with what I've got. It's kind of hard to blend with this little piece of junky plastic that's like stabbing your eye, but again, doing my best. Okay, that actually doesn't look horrible given the fact that I'm using Dollar Tree makeup and again, this piece of junk plastic. All right. You're like, Rebecca, I'll be the judge of that, whether it looks horrible or not. <laughs> okay. Also, if you put your, this is actually pretty standard in the order I put my makeup on. Actually, usually I do my lipstick very last. Um, but other than that, this is pretty much the order. So if you have any suggestions or you do something like, oh no, you have to do it this way because it makes it so much easier to do the next step, you'll have to let me know about that too. Be curious where people do their eyebrows. You do that at the end, the beginning. All right, next up we're gonna do a little eyeliner. This little tool here came with the eyeshadow, so. And just use that to smudge a little bit. That's one thing about making this is I have to use what I've got. And so um, if one thing that, you know, might be helpful for eyeliner came with the eyeshadow or maybe I'm using the blush brush to put on eyeshadow, like as I've said a hundred times before, I'm using what I've got. Usually I just use pencil on my top and then just put a little mascara on. But if I'm going to use fake lashes, I use liquid liner on top, so. We're gonna try that. Liquid liner is such a mess, and actually I don't have any Q-tips. So what do I have is I have a glass of water and I have this piece of paper towel, so I'll just roll it up like this and just dip it in there and see how this goes. Actually, I will say that this is really fine, and so far, this and the um, foundation are the top two things that have exceeded my expectation in terms of Dollar Tree. Also with liquid liner in general, I have found that sometimes you try to overcorrect and keep going and keep going until it's like totally out of hand. So it's not perfect, but I'm just gonna try to live with that until after these little eyelashes are on. They came with glue. This is the um, glue included sassy and chic pair of regular old fake eyelashes. Now, one thing that I will do is I do trim, um, I do trim lashes so that they're a little shorter because these are gonna be a little too long. So, um, do one at a time. All right, so just to show you, I cut off, Oops, well that's gone forever. Um, probably close to like a 
third quarter of an inch. So pretty substantial, um, just because if not, it's too long and it like really like goes like off your eye. So, all right, let's see. A little glue is stuck underneath. Usually I use, I guess it's the Ardell glue. Okay, so this is kind of a disgusting mess. It comes with like a little glue and just like a little wand. So, all right, so I just squeezed that out onto this empty packaging. So we're gonna try to use it that way because the dipping wasn't working. All right, so my friend that tried to teach me this many years ago, was she successful? Was she not? I guess we're about to find out. Told me that you put the glue on and then you just wiggle it back and forth like this. So it kind of rounds it out a little bit while you wait for it to dry so that it doesn't go on super liquidy. It goes on like kind of tacky. I'm gonna add a little bit more. She said also put on a little, a little bit to the ends. Whew, I really hope that this works and I don't look stupid, but whatever. Whatever, it's just a Dollar Tree video. Ooh, that is a lot, okay. All right, here we go. All right, another thing, blink carefully and just use some type of like hard edge to kind of like push it inward. Oh, okay. The glue is clear, so that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this. It's on there though, it's on there. <laughs> All right. It's on there. I'm really happy with how it looks down here, but the corner's coming up here. So again, this is what I've got available to me, so I'm just gonna... Can you try this? You wanna make sure that you don't let it just stay there or else this little foamy piece is gonna get stuck to your eye. All right, not great in the corner, but also could be worse. We're just gonna add a little bit more eyeliner there and just see. All right, let's try the other eye now. <laughs> Okay, last step is mascara. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It is an eyelash curler, and it's one of those things where I guess unless there's one out there on the market that I don't know about, if so, please let me know that's like life-changing, it's an eyelash curler. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this from the Dollar Tree and my LA Colors Hourglass Volume Lash. See how that goes. Oh, before that, we're gonna have to do a little tiny touch-up with the liquid eyeliner. so scared to do this with fake eyelashes like it's gonna come right off all right you know what I can't do it I can't do it I can't use it I'm just gonna use this um, and just put the mascara on I just yeah these lashes are already falling off a little bit so we're doing our best I do think that putting them close to um, an eyelash curler would be challenging I don't hate this mascara though. All right, I think I'm done. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do as I wrap up last minute touch-ups is this. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit more powder around the outsides of my mouth because lipstick just tends to run. So I'm touching my lips, usually I do that last, so I should have done that this time. Um, I put on a little too much gloss earlier, which makes it like a huge mess. So I'm just gonna put on, whoop. So I'm just gonna put on like the tiniest little bit. I'm gonna put it on the tip of the crayon and just blend it back and forth that way. All right. You should see what a disaster this area is. There is, I'm just literally so much trash. All right, so at the end, take my hair out. And here we are. My makeup is done. Okay, so I would, these eyelashes are like barely hanging on. And I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if it looks bad. Like I tried to fix something in the corner here and like they're really not on that well. So I would probably buy eyelashes from there, but I would definitely need to stick to name brand Ardell glue. The powder, the foundation, um, not bad, but again, I would probably stick to name brand. The only things that I like absolutely love that would be my first choice from the Dollar Tree are gonna be my makeup sponge. I really like that. I was also surprisingly impressed with the mascara, um, especially for the bottom, because sometimes I feel like there's so much in the tube that it comes out and you have to like try to get all the clumps off. 
but it, you, there's still so much there that putting it on the bottom is a little bit hard, but I really like this. So I was very impressed with this. And also I really like the eyeshadow. I thought that it was like just pigmented enough and it was nice. Um, but I guess for the most part, I would say that besides mascara, the eyeshadow, the tools that were nice, like the Wet n Wild um, brush, the sponge that I like, um, I'm probably gonna stick to my regular makeup. Uh, it was fun to try this. I think it came out, you know, as well as it could come out for Dollar Tree products. Um, but this could be, again, really good if you're trying to put together, um, you know, some type of cosplay or you're going to an event and you're not a makeup wearer and you don't want to invest um, all of your money in a lot of products that you're gonna use long term. You just need it for one night, that might work out. Um, so I would definitely check it out. Check out the Dollar Tree makeup beauty offerings and see what they've got. So anyway, if you aren't completely horrified by this moment, uh, give me your makeup tips below. If you're like, maybe you should try this next time, I would love to hear them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.